What's going on out there, fishing fam? Ray Sharifi here with the Dirty Hookers. Today we are heading out to Long Beach to do a little bit of a meetup with my buddy Danny. He's the one that puts together all the off switch charters trips. He found a rod company out of Texas. He found something special in them and he believes that they can be a really good surface iron rod. Now I know that a lot of you know that I recently teamed up with Phoenix Rods. I actually have three Phoenix Rods in my car right now. That's what probably what I'm going to be fishing with today since we're going to Long Beach. Might as well make a few casts, see if I can yank out a spot here too. But with that being said, we all know that when it comes to surface iron fishing, Southern California fishing is like strictly Southern California fishing. Nowhere else in the world does what we do. So today I'm going to be heading out to Long Beach. Danny's got these new rods that we're going to be testing out. I think a lot of the switch boys and a lot of other people are going to be showing up to to test out these rods give them a cast pull on them a little bit and see how they feel so i'm excited for this as you all know we didn't get to have fred hall show this year over the last couple years the biggest reason why i've been still continuing to go to fred hall show yeah the discounts is a huge bonus but at the same time i've mainly been going to catch up with a lot of the friends from down south that i don't get to usually see throughout the year so because we didn't get to have fred hall show this year it's going to be cool to be able to catch up with everyone from down south that i don't usually get to see hang out have a good time and just enjoy the day in company i'll be pulling up here soon and uh we'll continue the video as we get there all right so we're out here with danny and juniors over here in the background but these are the two guys that have pulled on most of these rods so we're gonna have them talk a little bit about them and give their opinions see if they can change your guys' minds and open your opinions to some new rods out here for southern california steadfast rods out here on the west coast three different models this one is the medium light rated 20 to 50. there's a medium that's rated 30 to 80 and a medium heavy which is probably more of a uh, specialty stick rated 40 to 100. old school glass field i get asked all the time what do they compare to the closest thing i can compare it to is a, a harnell 724 or 542. They have plenty of uh, bends in the tip. Shut off pretty well down here. But at, same with the Harnell, they will bend all the way down close into the handle down here. They definitely uh, cast the jig really well. Cast this thing as far as you'd like with your own technique so uh, they definitely I think have a place out here on the west coast if you like the feel of an old school glass rod these definitely fall into that category what about you junior what do you have to say about these rods well, we got the medium here it's a 30 to 80 pound it's your heavier stick you throw your Shimano Orcas on it your Salus 7x you can even throw a yo-yo on here if you wanted to but these things cast a mile of backbone, bend all the way into your hand if you like that old school feel. Give this one a cast, see how it loads up for you guys. Real good castability, paired up with your favorite reel. Steadfast, SoCal, let's get it. And Danny's over here fishing the heavy model. Yeah, so this one is a meat stick. This one is the man stick right here. This one is uh, rated 40 to 100 and surprisingly with that high of a line rating it really sits soft enough to cast pretty much anything you like from a caddy 45 all the way up to the big like this is a salus 5x oh, yeah. Trinidad, obviously real selection is personal preference, but Trinidad 20 feels pretty good on this. This is more of a specialty blank. Colt snipers, stick baits, poppers, casting into foamers. If you want to put the herd on yourself or the fish, um, this medium heavy rated 40 to 100 is a nice piece. Um, but it's definitely not for everybody. First thing you'll notice when you pick it up, it is pretty heavy. A little but, tip heavy. A little tip heavy. But lose in it being tip heavy, it definitely has 
a lot of backbone. <laughs> so as you can see guys, it's got a lot of backbone on the heavy model. A lot of backbone on this one. Just like that old school feel, the bend in your hand. It's the type of rod for you. Definitely more of a specialty stick this medium, uh, this medium heavy is. I know there's a lot of guys out there that like throwing the popper and throwing the surface iron at big bluefin and if that's kind of your thing. This is uh, that's where it's at. a very nice piece. Big boy toy. Yep. And personal opinions for both of you, if you were to choose an all-around jig stick for to cast all day at yellows, which one would you go with? So the most popular one is probably going to be the medium light. Okay. Rated 20 to 50, fish 40 pound on that all day. I personally like to fish my surface irons at 50 pound. So my favorite is the uh, medium, rated 30 to 80. I'm growing to like this one. I just don't know how much uh, how much you can throw. Yeah. Definitely not an all-day thrower. Coming up on a foamer would be perfect with the big, the big uh, popper or yeah. an orca, something like that. Exactly. But I think the most popular is going to be the medium light, only because most people like fishing 40 pound. I just like fishing 50 pound on my uh, yeah. on my surface irons. Medium light's gonna be your pretty much all around surface iron rod, a Taddy 4 out lights, a Taddy 45, your steel baits, mm -hmm. you know, any of those guys, the Durans, you know, hit any of those type of surface irons you wanna fish with that, that's pretty much your all around right there. And like Danny said, like the old Harnells, if you like that old whip action, you know, load up and bend into your hand, it's the way to go. The Harnells will always bend down into, in, down even into here. They're like ugly sticks. So you'll get the bend. If you really bend one, it'll bend down into here. This one will probably Shuts bend up, up to about right here. But if you put a serious pull on it, it will bend down into the handle too. Very parabolic. One thing that I will say is people that have underwrapped their CUIs, um, it stayed fairly stiff. I did not underwrap any of mine I just went single uh, wraps around the base of the guide and uh, they definitely softened up the, the blanket definitely softened up not a lot yeah. stiff you get a lot stiffer when you get that under wrap when you do the over wrap over the guide feed it lost the action It'd be a lot better with throwing when you want that bend into your hand action you know you don't want to go the full wrap but the full wraps all on preference yeah protect the blank that way or Straight guide foot. Mm -hmm. If they want to get in touch to get any of these steadfast blanks, where are they going to get in touch with any of you? Uh, oh, steadfast underscore SoCal on Instagram. Get them through me through JR at JR's Custom Rods. Go through uh, me up. Go through me and get them through Danny. Give you my cell phone number 909-717-3693. I'm always working on an order. Mike was nice enough to set aside all his medium lights and mediums for us out on the West Coast. We're pretty much almost sold out. I think we have enough for one more order. And uh, at that point in time, it's gonna be a, a waiting game until he uh, gets another shipment in. So uh, no pressure to buy them, but if you guys are on the fence and you guys wanna get one, get in now, because I don't know when the next shipment is gonna be coming. Yeah, nice. If you guys wanna come pull on them or anything like that, I got some stock at the house, so guys want to get the feel for them let me know hit me up we can set up an appointment you guys will come down pull a bend on them throw them around and see how you guys feel i'm nice. sure you can do the same thing with danny as well yep yeah <laughs> all right thanks boys thank you Rich.
All right, guys, there you have it. All in all, really good meetup. It was really good to see all the buddies from down south that I don't usually get to see. The blanks felt pretty good, but to be honest, I spent most of the time just catching up with everyone, uh, enjoying a good meetup with all the homies. And and just to be clear, guys, I'm t still totally committed to Phoenix Rods, but this is just me helping out Danny, helping him get a little bit more exposure for these rods. He's really been trying to push out these blanks and rods for maybe about four months now. He's helped out me a lot and helped out the, f the fishing community in general. He's done a a lot for the community. I'm just doing what I can to give back for him and if I can help him get a little bit more exposure for something that he truly believes in, I'm going to do my part and do what I can. So hopefully that clears the air a little bit. Uh, what you guys will be looking forward to seeing soon, I got a spotty video coming. I got freshwater bass videos coming. Hopefully I can get out a couple of catching cooks from before my injury. Now that I'm getting more and more healed up, hopefully I'll be able to get out a little bit more content for you guys. And along with that, film a lot more new content as well. The season's really starting to pick up. Season's coming in soon. And hopefully I'll be able to see some of you guys out here on the water here in a couple months. As always, thank you all for watching. Please give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I will see you all next time. Shoot.